You know, there's so many ways to throw a grub. Several presentations. And I'm just basically fishing it like a tube. You know, we're throwing it in deep water, you gotta let it fall. Right. But the one thing that it's doing, it's working all the way down. Those, that tail is just moving, 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 moving. And some of our fish have been caught on that fall. Once I see it hit the bottom, I watch my line. It'll go slack. And then I'm just moving it like a, like a tube. And I feel it go across the bottom. Move a little bit, and those little tail's working, stops. A couple gobies will bite it. <laughs> That's a 3 8 ounce tour grade jig head. And you can feel all the rocks. Yeah. Zebra mussels. This is where the big girl ought to be. On mm -hmm. that edge right there, 29 to 50. That's where the big girl should be hanging. Fish. All right. Now that one popped it. That one popped it. That's a decent smallmouth. You look at it, it's a good one. Good job. Oh, that's a big fella. That's a, that's a really nice fish. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on up here. Boy, you can see him down there a long ways, can't you? That fish is still in 10, 15 feet of water. He's coming up quick. Here he is. Oh, that's a big one. Whoa. <laughs> I don't want to mess this one up. That's a big one. Good job. <laughs> that is a pig. Ooh, look at the gut on that Gosh. fish. <laughs> look at the size of that thing. Ah, and that grub, yeah. I'm telling you, it'll catch them. Yeah. You know, so many guys have uh, have forgotten about the grub, and that's a kind of a forgotten bait. The fat-bodied grub can catch some big old fish, especially these smallmouth. Yeah, they like them. Uh, this one here, you know, with the rage tail, that is definitely the, the amount of action you get out of that tail triggers these fish, I guess. That's, you know, because I mean, they're, they're pretty inactive today. <laughs> yeah, they are. It's not, a, it's not a real fast, furious bite, but the action of that tail, I mean, that tail imitates a lot of, it's like a swim bait type yep. of thing, and everybody's gone in that direction and kind of forgot about the grub. So, yep. good choice for today. Well, nice fish. Smallmouth, Thousand Islands. Was that not a beautiful smallmouth? Well, take a deep breath, pinch your nose, and jump on in, because we're going to take you right to the sweet spot. Hello, Dad. I see you down there. All right, I'm coming. I got walleyes and a school of smallmouth. There's a cover fish here. Right up along the break. You wouldn't believe how many bass are down here. I can believe it. This school of smallmouths are currently positioned on top of the 20 to 25 foot ledge, right near the sheerest drop to 40 foot of water. More importantly is, we observe that as they travel horizontally, they move along the 25 foot lip of the steep drop. Yeah, look at the sharp edge. This is just what that hummingbird was showing. That's where those bigger fish were. And here's a toad right in front of me. Well, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's really cool. They all, they're all in one line, and they just swim in a line right on that edge. I mean, it couldn't be more picture perfect. They're right on that corner, right on that edge, traveling in big wolf packs. I mean, they're in their schools just going right down that line, and you don't see them right on the bottom. You don't see them way up on top suspended, but today you see them right on that edge. Unbelievable. This is the sharpest edge right here. I'm actually under you, Dad, looking up this shelf. It is just so steep. And all the way down here at 45 feet, I've got more smallmouth coming at me. And that's why the side imaging and the down imaging and the uh, 2D sonar, they're all important to find this stuff. With the deep water to our left, Dean and I side-imaged this fruitful steep ledge horizontally. 
the shadows created by the sonar angle are much more discernible when surveyed down a slope. The larger the shadow, the steeper and more pronounced the drop is. Again, the top shelf leveled out at about 20 to 25 feet and the base of the drop descended to about 40. But the key spot on the spot, based on our underwater observations and previous catches, was the very outside lip of the 25 foot ledge where the drop was the sheerest. Oh, there's a cone. Look at how he's coming up that edge. It was an eye opener for me to witness just how quickly those fish moved up, then down that vertical wall. The smallmouths were predominantly holding on the 25 foot lip. However, when the need be, they would easily nose straight down and descend the wall to the base. That's why it's beneficial to utilize your 2D sonar on the bow when fishing rock ledges. The sonar picks up a reading of the top shelf as well as the bottom base of the drop. Now make your cast accordingly. So Kim, what are you seeing for bait fish down there? What are they feeding on? There's a lot of little goldies. Is the vertical wall that you're seeing down there, is that jagged or is it a smooth faced wall? It's very jagged. Very jagged and totally encapsulated in zebra muscles. That'll do a number on your line. Exactly right. That's why it's important to have a good far time. Not to mention how the far time is more transparent in this cup of clear water. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one too. Good going. Grab that net. <laughs> Who's the grub master now? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Right in the cheek. Nice fish. A lot of times you can catch, you know, up here when I'm guiding, I'll. I'll get guys into you know a wad of the fish this size right here. Two pounders, a lot of times you can catch 10 or 15 of them and then an occasional you know four or five pounders. So cool. We got a heck of a fishery up here. Look at this. Lots of fish. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. We marked those too. Ooh, yeah. That looks like a good one. <laughs> Look at that clear water. <laughs> He's down there. He's down there 15 feet and you can see him as plain as day. I know. Yeah. Come on up here. Oh, I see you caught that on a drop shot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice fish. There you go, nice fish, you go. Dino. Yes, indeedy. We saw the whole wad. Yeah, some dropped, dropped on him. That's it. <laughs> and he bit it. 